Okay, now what I've done is I've taken a, a piece of ferrite, that's half of a, of a television CRT uh, horizontal deflection yoke there, and I've wrapped it with 98 turns and 98 turns by filer. I held both strands together and wrapped them 98 turns of number 27 magnet wire. So we have a primary, the blue wires, and a secondary, the white wires. I've taken that same Schottky diode full wave bridge there and the same red LED from the other experiment. On the primary side I've got the same well actually this is a different piezo but it's the same kind of one. Piezo, the identical red LED to this one uh, and function generator drive and we're not looking at current right now we're just looking at the behavior of this thing and uh, I've got the function generator turned up to a very low output here we, we have less than 5 volts peak to peak on the function generator output no current trace right now because I've got the LED in the uh, input side so the current would be meaningless but this is the uh, input voltage and I think you can see that the input LED is glowing, just barely glowing, and the output LED is not glowing at all, okay, and can you hear it? Okay, so there's really not very much power going in to the piezo right now, right? So now what I'm going to do is, just as before, I'm going to start uh, increasing the frequency, Now the input LED is just about out. They're both out right now. Continuing to increase frequency. Now look at that. The output LED has gotten to be really bright. Zero on the input LED. And let's see here. The input voltage has actually dropped. This is the output voltage from the function generator. It's only showing about 2 volts peak to peak now. And we're at a frequency of about 24 kilohertz. Okay. And so there you go. There's nothing on the input LED really really bright output LED 24 kilohertz and uh, yeah right about in there right about in there that point of maximum brightness minimum voltage 24 to 25 kilohertz, right there, okay.